guess I gotta put up with the wind. Welcome to Making a Greenland Paddle with Hand Tools, part 25, the final part, the final episode. Oh, I just turned on a purpose to record. I guess I am recording. <sighs> Hi there, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing good. Oh, today. Always wonderful though. Okay, this paddle is very differently than mine. I don't have the angle right yet. I'm getting flutter. I don't Up at the wind. Welcome to Making a Greenland Paddle with Hand Tools, part 25, the final part, the final episode. I want to thank everyone who watched all of them. You're all crazy, but I guess I'm crazy for making it. And there's a couple of people I want to thank. I want to thank Chuck Holtz, who wrote, as far as I know, the original free instructions for making a paddle. And my first paddle was made from his instructions. My second and third aborted paddles were also made from his instructions, which I didn't read correctly. His paddles were failures. That was my fault, not Chuck's. And then for this paddle, I went to Brian Nystrom, who I really want to thank both for writing the book, and I'll link to that, and for helping me out while doing it. I want to thank the Paddling.com community also, who was very supportive during this whole really, really long endeavor. It shouldn't have taken so long, but a lot of life got in the way. That happens. So what did I learn from all this? One I learned is that it's possible, obviously. You know, I guess I sure sort of knew that because the Inuit made them with hand tools, right? And it was kind of nice getting in touch with the less technological side of our busy lives these days. Of course, I incorporate technology by making a YouTube series, but oh well. And I learned so much about woodworking, both from the Pally.com community, from Brian and his book, and also the third person I want to thank is Rex Kruger, who probably doesn't even know this video exists. Uh, Rex Kruger is a woodworker who I follow. He has a series called Woodworking for Humans. I'm a, proud to be a patron of his. The whole woodworking community there is really, really helpful in all sorts of things. Not, not so much with this paddle, but teaching me about my tools. Would I do this again? Frankly, no. It, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of work, but there are certain things I think I would just do. You know, cutting this. Uh, I'll use a jigsaw or my friend's bandsaw, definitely. That was that was hours spent that you don't get back. And glad I did it, but not doing it again. I'm happy I was able to cut these so we can see that they're not very symmetrical. Maybe if I had, I don't know, better skills would be symmetrical. Maybe if I use power tools, it would be symmetrical. But as Rex Kruger writes, the precision comes from the operator, not from the tool. So. It's folly to think that precision will automatically show up when you have a 
We have power tools. Oh, here's my wife. Hello. Give me back my paddle. No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> She's slumming using my three dollar and ten cent pine paddle, right. shoulderless, and she wants this one back. Next up, I'll be making two boats. Are we making video series? Nope. Sorry, it's way too much work. I'm not sure where I'll blog about it or if I will or not. Maybe I'll show you the final boat. But I want to thank you all for uh, for wa watching. Put the paddle up to Susan now, and the ritual exchange of the paddles will take place. Oh, thank God. Yay! Bye! <laughs> oh, I smashed your boat. Oh, I think I do like a shoulder paddle. I gotta make one. Okay, GoPro off. GoPro, turn off. GoPro, make me a sandwich. How do you make it stop? GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording.